Hello, my name is Ranganath Raju. I'm a technical leader for the Cisco ACI technology. In this video, we will see how to set up ND device connector for claim in Indosight. Let us begin by reviewing the prerequisites. The ND device connector must be able to properly resolve svc.indosight.com and it must be allowed outbound communication on port 443. If a proxy is required to make this happen, it must be configured in ND cluster configuration settings. On the Nexus dashboard, the ACI fabric must be discovered as a site. And on intersite.com, an account is required to eventually claim this device. Here is the location on Nexus dashboard where you can find if you're concerned ACI fabric has been added as a site. If you're required to verify or change the proxy settings, here is how you would get to the cluster configuration location on your ND. As a validation test, you can log into CLI of each ND node as a rescue user to perform an NS lookup and curl on sbc.intersite.com as shown here. Let's look at the steps to set up and claim ND on Intersite. First, we need to install the latest Nexus Dashboard Insights app or service and then we need to validate the NDI settings and verify the managed nodes. We then need to validate the device connector settings on the Nexus Dashboard and finally claim the Nexus Dashboard on the Intersite portal. Let's now go through the installation of NDI app using the App Store tab. Log into the Nexus Dashboard, go to Admin Console. Under Admin Console, expand Services. On the right, select App Store tab. Find the Nexus Dashboard Insights app and click on Install. Application installation starts under Installed Services tab. Wait until the app gets fully installed. After installation, let's validate NDI app settings. Click to open the Nexus Dashboard Insights app. Inside app, select Nodes under the menu. On the right pane, you must see all fabric nodes of the site which was added on Nexus Dashboard. Once you scroll down, make sure you see the nodes details populated in each row. After successful installation and verification of NDI app, let's get back to our Nexus Dashboard and validate the device connector settings. You could go to Admin Console under Infrastructure click on Intersite. You can see here that this ND has not been claimed on Intersite. Under Settings tab of the Device Connector, ensure Auto Update is enabled and leave the rest of the default settings as it is and click on Save if you made any changes here. Now let's claim the Nexus Dashboard from Intersite. Go to Intersite.com, log in with your SSO, Under Targets, click on Claim a new target. Look for Cisco Nexus Dashboard under Network and click on Start. Copy-paste the device ID and claim code from the Nexus Dashboard device connector settings and click on Claim. Now you should see the Nexus Dashboard as connected on the Intersite. On the Nexus Dashboard UI, you should now see the status as claimed. On the Nexus dashboard, if the App Store tab is not functional, the app can be locally installed via the UI or a remote destination. You first need to download the latest NDI app through the DC App Center. So go to the DC App Center, search for Nexus Dashboard Insights and click on Download to download the app on your local file system. Let's install the downloaded app onto the Nexus dashboard. So here is the location where you can upload the app on the Nexus dashboard. Under Admin Console, Services, Install Services. Under Actions, you find the Upload Service. There are two ways to upload an app. If the app is stored on an HTTPS file server, you could choose Remote Location option. But here, for example, we are choosing to upload from a local file system. 
Once you click on Upload, wait for the app to get uploaded and installed. By now, the Nexus dashboard detects multiple versions of the app and it allows you to activate or disable so that you can choose the desired version. Once you activate the version that was just uploaded, the NB switches the app from the currently running version to the version that was just activated and you can monitor the progress of installation as shown here. And if the NDI install is unsuccessful, then let's quickly review on how to collect the logs for analysis. You can generate an on-demand tech support from the admin console operations on, under tech support. You can trigger a system scope tech support or you can trigger an app store scope tech support. And you can upload these files to the TAC case to get further help from.